after becoming the mouth for Master Arion, a few quests are open to us. If we travel to Tel Brenora on the southern edge of Vardenfell, we can ask the eccentric and quite insane Mistress Therana for some chores. Mistress Therana is in the uppermost section of her tower, and you can only get to her chambers by levitating. We remember our first trip here, seeing all the rotting quama eggs she uses for decoration, never eating any of them, but working her slaves to the bone in order to harvest them. Then we remember her poor Khajiit manservant, Razar, who Mistress Therana immolated. So we need to watch our words while we talk to the crazy old woman. Greeting Therana, we can ask her if she has any chores for us. Have you ever heard of Ariel's bow? I've heard it's made of ebony and smells of boiled ash yams. Is that so? That's very interesting, mistress. Uh, can you tell me more of the bow? No, no, no. I knew you wouldn't understand. I want a bow that smells faintly of ash yams. All right, no need to get angry. Please tell me more about the ash yams. Ash yams have the strongest smell in Ghostgate, near Rallin Othravel. This triggers the House Telvani quest, Ariel's Bow. We should probably set a mark spell here, so that we can quickly return here once we make it to Ghostgate and retrieve the bow. Of course, we first need to get to Ghostgate, and that's quite the trek. The fastest way to reach Ghostgate is probably to travel by boat back to Shadrith Mora and then take the Magus Guild Guide to Alderun. From here, take the road towards Fort Buckmoth and then continue traveling east until you reach the magical barrier that is the Ghost Fence. From here, follow the road south then east until you reach the gate itself. The ghost fence is a wonder in and of itself, a magical barrier surrounding the center of Vardenfell and Red Mountain, the source of the blight. The fence itself is made of the magical power of the tribunal and of the spirits of ancestors of Dunmer who have given their power to give strength to the fence. The fence keeps out horrible corpus monsters from ravaging the entirety of Vardenfell. We arrive at Alderun during an ash storm, fittingly enough. Making our way outside of the city and around towards Fort Buckmoth, the weather clears, and we pass the fort with the weather clear enough to see the Daedric ruins of Aramimilk. We should be careful here, as sometimes Daedra wander up the road. Thankfully, only a Kaguti was here, and we weren't spotted. Eventually, we reach Ghostgate. There are two towers here. On the west is the Tower of Dusk. On the eastern side, the Tower of Dawn. Our quarry is in the latter tower, the Tower of Dawn. Making our way around the circular hall, we reach a door. Through here we can enter a large chamber and, in typical Velothi architectural fashion, a set of stairs in the back leads to a higher floor. Rallin Othervel is on this higher level. We see him standing off to the side. Rallin is an ordinator, so we know he knows magic. 
and we can be sure he is proficient in hand-to-hand -hand and armed combat. Ordinators are also short of temper, so it's best if we buff before speaking to him. Good morning, we say. You must be Rallin Othervel. We hear you're in possession of a certain bow. We were wondering if you would be willing to part with it. Who told you that? No, never mind, I don't care. You don't know what I went through to get this bow. I'm not giving it up, not for you. I have better things to do, High Elf. Goodbye. And he walks away, having his disposition towards us drop ten points. At this point, we can take the bow one of two ways. If our sneak and pickpocket skills are high enough, we can steal it. Uh, needless to say, that's not going to happen for us, and attempting this will surely get us attacked by the entire Ordinator garrison. So instead, uh, we can approach Rallin again, saying, I bet you stole the bow from someone else. I bet you paid some adventurer to find it for you, and you didn't even get it yourself, you coward. Why don't you give the bow to a real elf? Just hand it over, you fetcher. Having his pride insulted while in his ordinator garb is more than Rallin can bear, and he attacks us. As predicted, the battle-hardened crusader launches volley after volley of poison bloom at us, but we absorb most of the magic thanks to our birth sign. We bravely stand behind our summon Dramora while it smashes Rallin with a Dwemer axe. Sensing victory is within our grasp, we foolishly enter the fray, attacking Rallin with Firebite. This proves a bad move as Rallin smashes us with body blows from his mace, knocking us to the ground. We just about down a couple of potions of healing to get us back on our feet and we attempt to recast our shield and sanctuary spells. While we do, our Dramora eventually defeats the Ordinator, so we can go and get the bow. On his corpse we find Ariel's bow, a full set of Ordinator armor and his magical mace, the Gavel of the Ordinator. This unique mace casts Drain Health 1 to 10 points for 30 seconds on target when it strikes, so it's little wonder we were getting beat so easily. This is actually only one of two of this mace in the entire base game, so it will be a nice addition to our collection. Taking all of his possessions, we are carrying too much to be able to move, so we can cast Recall to get back to Theranus Chambers. We can drop a few things here while we talk to her. Aren't you the one who is going to deliver my ash yams? She asks. What took you so long? I've got all these Kwama eggs and no ash yams because I hate ash yams. Uh, yes, I, um, I, uh, brought you your ash yams. I smell ash yams, but I don't see ash yams. Are you lying to me? I don't like people who lie to me. Mm, but if you give me the bow, I might let you go. We had better give her the bow. Oh dear, this bow smells like ash yams. Ugh, this isn't any good to me at all. I hate ash yams. If I gave you a little present, would you go away and promise never to bring me any ash yams ever again? If we tell her no, she will give us 11,111 gold. But... If we say yes, she will reward us with enchanted Daedric armor. 
The Daedric Quirus has the Enchantment of Feather for 50 points as a constant effect. So in reality, it only weighs 40. The Daedric Greaves have the same enchantment, making their actual weight only 4. Now you might be wondering why the armor rating for these pieces is so low, and that's because my heavy armor skill is trash tier. The baseline armor rating for these is 80, so they're actually phenomenal pieces of armor, and the fact that they have a feather effect makes them even better. Despite the fact that I'm not trained in heavy armor, these might be items I wear for the long term. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the full story of the Talvani quest, Ariel's Bow. I know I didn't talk about Ariel's Bow itself very much, but this is an epically legendary item that will get its own video at a later time. Be sure to leave this video a like, or else I'll be forced to send you Ashams by mail, and none of us want that. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.